Hey guys, this is episode 139. Um, if you notice that I'm filming on the floor again, this was my old filming space, and it's just on the floor like this. Uh, it's because um, what happened is my brother left his figures, his Star Wars figures, on there. So... I don't want to move them and then end up ruining one of them without, like, knowing. Even though they're, like, made out of metal and they're hard to break. But I don't want to drop it and accidentally dent it or ruin the post that they're in. So I'm just going to leave that alone because it's my brother's and it's not mine. <coughs> so anyways, the last video, if any of you watched, I showed... At the end, sort of, my semiotics project was not finished, and I'm still working on it. Um, I'm, I wanted to show you guys the pieces that I have right now, because I wanted to do a base. So, as you can see, these are, like, the eyes and everything. It's just, like, the pupils, the reflection, the iris, and the mouth, the nose, and the eye lid line of an anime character of course and then if you guys didn't watch my video on semiotics basically I made Edward Elric out of his face he's from Full Metal Alchemist and I made his face out of origami paper and this is like the bigger pieces so it's like his face and his hair um and then i put the smaller pieces in here because if i put them in here the plastic bag is really sticky inside like i think it's because like the friction and how there's no air it just makes it really sticky inside so pieces tend to stick on plastic sometimes and I just don't want it to be like, I take a piece out and that piece is sticking onto one of the larger pieces. And I take a large piece out and then it just gets ruined. So that's why I don't really want to do that. So they're in separate bags just so that way they're safe. Um, my base involves... In a transmutation circle, which is what they use in Full Metal Alchemist to do alchemy. Now, I know um, some of you may not watch this anime, but basically, they <clears throat> the alchemy is more fantasy-based. That's why I sort of call it more magic-based than what you would describe because in the olden days people did believe that alchemy could happen but it was more of an alchemy where you turned elements into gold but the thing is back in the old days when they finally found out that gold was an element is basically um if they ever even created that type of gold with alchemy that would have been fake gold because there's no way to create gold out of elements since gold is already an element so here we have the i know it looks like a cross but so on the back of his his cloak basically there's it there's a symbol, and it looks like a cross with a snake on it. It's actually not supposed to look like a cross, but they don't explain why they made it that way. But anyways, it's a pole, and it's a snake wrapped around it, and that's supposed to be, in Greek mythology, Hermes' staff. Now, um, I really don't know the full story of Hermes' staff, but anyways, yeah. So basically, it's his staff and a snake, and that's supposed to be either an alchemy symbol, which I think he's the god of alchemy, or in one of the, yeah. And then it's also turned into a medicine symbol, except they change it to a ribbon instead of a snake. So I made this. I'm going to paint it black, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to print out the symbol and just cut the snake part out and tape it on 
because I want to use different materials and I just don't want to cut the snake out of a paper plate because that's going to be, that's going to take me way longer. Um, so basically here is the symbol, the transmutation circle. So the reason why I have so much place is because I took extra, but my dad was saying if I want to glue it on, because I do want it to stand like this, he said I should cut a slit through a couple of them and just stick it through and put glue inside. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, just to make it look nice and presentable and then I will glue these on top of each other. Originally I was going to show me painting this but it's just going to be painted black so not really it's kind of pointless to just paint something black and then show it to you guys so after when I'm done I will make another video on how it looks like but for now that's all so yeah so that's it for this video bye